My name is Darren Hamley. I'm the coordinator of Gifted and Talented Education at Willerton Senior High School, which is one of the biggest schools in Western Australia. I started as a biologist, but I decided to make the change to science teaching and I just haven't looked back. I love every second of it. My principal asked me to come up with a new idea for the school and, and said to him, I'd really like to start a gifted program. And the program began with about 10 kids meeting after school and quickly grew into a program now with 360 students and I have 17 staff. We do a test of academic potential rather than a test of academic performance. So what we're after is those students to come in with potential and to turn that potential into talent. Williton has a very, very long history of, of academic success in science and one of the key indicators is the number of students that go on to choose science subjects post compulsory. So for example, we have over 200 students studying physics, which is really just unheard of. Probably our main achievement has been solar car. That's the one that I'm really the most proud of. So I've had a group of 13 and 14 year old students that have built a road licensed solar powered car. We believe it's one of the first zero emission cars ever built in Australia. And I've driven this car for thousands of kilometres twice from Darwin to Adelaide. Twice we've done a little section of the Nullarbor. And next year we're hoping to do a trip from Perth to Canberra, which is pretty ambitious and it should take us about 20 days. Another initiative with the Gifted program has been our dolphin research and the main area we've been looking at here recently is how damage to dolphin dorsal fins affects how they swim. The students use photographs that I've taken to produce 3D printed models of the dolphins and these 1 8 scale models are then used in test tanks to, to test their swimming performance. And the ultimate aim of this project is to help raise awareness about how damage um, to dorsal fins can be caused by rubbish that's left around our rivers. I really love being a science teacher. The fundamentals of science remain the same, but I feel like I'm doing something different every single day. To be recognised from the Prime Minister's Prize of Science was a great honour. I've been working in science for over three decades and I was absolutely over the moon when I found out that I'd been recognised.